today. Take it. Say hello. What's up? Sopra. So, this is the morning routine. Driving up to the bus stop right now. That massive driveway. I really enjoy running up and down it with sandbags. Uh, but every single morning, we wake up, I start the coffee, I make her a protein shake, and then clean up my messes in the kitchen from the night before of all my midnight eating. I do love peanut butter. And then we drive, and then I bring Adeline up here to the bus stop. Goodbye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Have a good day. She's a really good kid. I used to embarrass the ever-loving fuck out of her when she was little. <laughs> uh, good times. Now, we go down. Made it. Everyone has a morning routine. I see these fucking guys on TikTok and Instagram reels talking about their millionaire morning routines and all the shit they do and how it's, you know, staged and fucking all kind of happy-go-lucky bullshit. And I'm like, well, you really don't look like you uh, own a business. You don't have any kids and you woke up in your white, perfect, fluffy bed and, you know, you started your day with all your perfect shit. And I'm like, I don't know, in reality, that's not how this household works. Uh, we own four businesses, have three kids. What I'm getting at is, is having a successful morning routine will set you up for success. It sets the tone for your fucking day. Okay? We're, whenever you see all these people and it seems so perfect and they're reading their book in the morning and doing all that shit, and I'm like, motherfucker, I wake up and attack the day. I wake up and set the tone with what I want to do with my family. I make sure that I wake up, I make my coffee, I start at, I make Adeline's protein shake for the day so that she's fucking nourished and ready to fuck the day up herself, and then she clean up my mess in the kitchen that I was doing my night eating, get her on the bus, go inside, drink my coffee, take my shit, do my cardio, slap my woman on the ass, and fucking go, go kill this motherfucker. Everyone can have their morning routine. You don't need to do exactly what everyone else does, but you need to have a routine to set yourself up for success so that you set the tone for your day so you don't go into work lethargic and all fucking belly aching and bullshit like that. Fuck all that noise. You want to go in and straight fuck this day in the face. So you need to find a routine that does that. This is mine. After I take my morning shit and before I go do cardio, on really nice days like today, look at this. It's gorgeous out. <clears throat> I come out on the deck, just hang out for a couple minutes. I like the outdoors. Makes me feel good. So, kind of make it part of my routine. Whether it's here, out on the deck in the morning, or we put on this massive deck fucking huge uh, or I'll stand at the front of the bay window and just kind of watch we usually have deer turkey um, chickens the wall come through just nice to hang out part of the morning routine over here is the field where I got to do all my work this weekend rip down the trampoline rip down the shed up in there is where we're gonna put the pool on the other side where the truck and the uh, Cat R is where it's going to be the, uh, we're going to put our pavilion and right on the other side of it will be uh, the pool. Now we go do an hour of cardio. For everyone that asks, this is the Stairmaster 4000 PT. I bought this thing for $300 in 2009. Uh, and it has got me through all the shows I've done, got me in shape, got me shredded. Still to this day works. Every now and then, chain breaks or a, uh, a spring, and I just replace it. This is my bitch. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Enter. So, 
I'll start on four and I'll warm up probably eight minutes I'll warm up here and then I'll increase to six for another three to five units and then I'll increase to eight for probably about till probably ten and then I rip into it at ten units all right so getting into it the morning cardio this morning uh, I usually do cardio for anywhere between an hour to an hour and a half now reason being is because my ass needs to get in shape we have the bear hunt coming up in June early June we're heading out to Idaho a friend of mine Zach Owens and the company that he works for right on optics putting on a bear hunt for us I reached out to Zach January of this year like for an elk hunt I was like let's go elk hunting I want to do get a fucking massive elk with my bow he's like a little late on that one dude but he's like I can do spring bear I'm like well, fuck yeah, then let's go. So, we have a hunt in four weeks out in Idaho, hiking, hunting, fishing, really cool shit. It's bucket list for me. So, <clears throat> biggest thing for him that he told me was, show up in shape, motherfucker. So, my cardio every morning on the stepper, either stepper, driveway workouts, or I'll just take the 25 sandbag, 25 pound sandbag, throw it on my back, and walk the, I was gonna say walk the neighborhood. It's not the neighborhood, we live in the country. It's, uh, I call it the neighborhood just because I don't have anything else to call it. So I walk around the block. Well, the block turns out to be a couple miles. Maybe longer. <laughs> but uh, I'll take that on my back and just walk around with it, put my boots on and go. He just said, show up in shape. Don't be out of shape. I think I'm in pretty good fucking shape. I think I am. But needless to say, um, I'm putting in the work every morning on here. The reason I'm doing the stepper this morning is uh, I've got a lot of stuff to go through on my phone. We have a release coming up this Thursday, an All-American Roughneck Spring release. A ton of new cool shit. We'll actually, after this is over, we'll go through it all uh, and I'll I'll run you through like what we were thinking with designs, why we did things the way we done. Um, never really did that. So, we'll do it this morning. So, I'm just gonna step away here. Warming the glutes up, the quads, the hammies, the calves, stretch them out, the cardio calves. I swear to God, my calves have gotten, they probably doubled in size. You know, they just look way bigger as I've gotten better shape. Yeah, so right on Optics, they have, uh, uh, they're covering everything out in Idaho. Jay and I just have to get there, so I want to thank them for this hunt. Zach as well. Uh, we will be hunting with a rifle. Uh, first time doing any type of predatory hunt out west. He said, let's start there, and then maybe next year when we come back, we'll work, uh, we'll do some archery. Get my feet wet a little bit, but I'm excited about it. Uh, bearskin rug would look great right in front of the bed. Fuck yeah. So, on the hunt, we'll be doing a couple big hikes. Uh, we'll be doing hunting, fishing, and just going for the view. I'm excited. I've never done anything like this in my life. It's a bucket list item for me, like I said. You know, and the whole reason that, you know, I'm bringing Jay with me is so that we can document it all and then show the experience. You know, I want people to experience and see what we're going to be doing. And that way, maybe it can inspire you to go after some of the things that you want to in life. Even if it's not going on a big hunt. It's just something that uh, it's on your bucket list that you want to go see. So we're nearing the end of the first 45 minutes. Feeling good. At this point, I'm really starting to work on my breathing. Nice. Sweating like a pig. It's probably going to be a problem in June in Idaho. Might be a little sweaty. 600 calories, 200 floors, 4.18 miles. Round two.
Be a fucking savage when you do this. Don't be a fucking pussy. Go at this shit. I mean, I love it. I'm pumping away. I'm getting in better shape by the fucking day. I love it. And I mean, go at your own pace. You know, it's not like I'm going to be sprinting up a mountain. I'm going to be going up a mountain for miles. Hours. So this long distance is really what we're working on. And just being in shape. And I know real world experience will shit on this fucking thing. So I just got to get in the best shape I possibly can. And remember, every single step I take, not to be a fucking pussy. Let's go, bitches. All right, we're finishing up. 278 calories, 80, 95 more floors, almost two miles, 9.8, 1.8, not 9.8. I love it. My heart rate is up, sweating like a pig. I'm feeling good, motherfuckers. We go upstairs, see the girls, see SJ. <laughs> Beautiful day. Sun shining, smell of fresh coffee. Fog up in glasses, baby. Need to step outside for a cool down. Man, sun's out. I will take it. Rooster's grown for an idea of how much I sweat. <laughs> Soaked. It's a bit ridiculous. Sometimes I wonder if I have a problem, but then hmm, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I don't think so. Emmy, we'll go see her. Story about her for you. Good morning, pretty girl. Everyone, that's Emmy. Uh-oh, who do I hear? Who's that guy? Say hello. Emmy just had her states this weekend. She had level four states on Sunday in Philadelphia. So it turns out that Emmy is a level four. She just turned eight years old in February, and she is the best level four of all ages in the entire state of Pennsylvania. That is the number one gymnast at level four in Pennsylvania. For anybody that doesn't know, that is a fucking massive accomplishment. Ah, and SJ's just, he loves duckas. <laughs> Kid loves animals. And for everyone that doesn't know, my beautiful fiance, Hannah, She's the one that makes sure everything goes smooth before the day. My chicken salads, my chicken bowls, my extra chicken, my good dick day. <laughs> my favorite pants. Morning's not complete without it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I've, we've never done this on a video like this before, me vlogging about everything going on, but uh, I wanted to go through the new All-American Roughneck release with you guys. Work with this fucking, what the hell? I'm not a camera guy. So, this release, you get the free sticker pack, which is nasty. The free flask with the first 1,500 orders. We ordered more flasks. They came in, were pumped. Giving free shit away is huge for me, especially the stickers. I work construction majority of my life. Having a hard hat with hard hat stickers, sick fucking stickers was always a big deal to me. And free cool shit. Who doesn't want free cool shit? The flask is actually legit. It's not like a piece of shit. But now the shirts. I'm an old school type of dude. I like a certain style of clothing, a certain look, a certain way. Uh, just the wear, the look, all of it. However, trends change throughout Time. As time goes on, there's just new trends, new looks, new colors. Now that uh, Bob, very up with all the trends. You guys see it in some of these pictures. You'll see it when we go through. Our goal, whenever we're doing all of these, uh, these releases now, especially with Nick having him on the team, is to bridge the gap between that old school hardcore look that is me through and through, along with some of the new trends, the new looks, the new colors, the new, just the new trends on how they're done. 
So whenever you're looking through this, this is that is our goal. Our goal is to bridge the gap between the old school hardcore look of what I enjoy, also with the new school trendy type shit going on. And I think this release is exactly what we've captured and it's fucking nasty. I like it. So we have our intensity shirt, which is super cool. Bob looking thin, fucking nasty. Look at that ass. Great jawline, bruh. Sex. Looks like a fucking like Formula One racer. Sex. I do deadlifts and eat gummy bears. Motherfucker. Hair. Man, if I shaved my beard, I'd have a nasty jawline. <sighs> Look at his. Look at that thing. Bob fucks. <clears throat> the new athletic shorts that we have, these are the best training shorts on the fucking market. Hands down, no ones are better. These things get down. We added the, the nice touch there. Did a print on the legs, so whenever you pull up to either show off the legs or, everyone, what a windside tip. I don't wear underwear with these shorts. It is just so soft and beautiful. It makes your fucking dick and balls feel incredible. Now, I may or may not have taken a nasty dick pic in these shorts. Like, pull the leg up, show the dick down the leg, and in the white, bro, you look way bigger, you look way better, great outline. Gentlemen, these are dick pic shorts. You're gonna wanna get them and send one to the label. You chub up real nice, fucking, you'll have her all riled up. But seriously, then you can have the dick right next to the logo. Fucking right. Phone pocket. This is probably my favorite item of this release. The Collegiate AAR Stringer Tank. That fucking thing is nasty. Simple design. Again, simple design, trendy font, and just overall great look. The fucking tank top, the shorts, killer. Bob showing off the leg. Look at them legs. Keep the dick in there, bud. This tee here, the city tee. Bob and the intensity. We also have the blackout shorts, not our training, not our, uh, the compression training shorts. They're just our regular custom uh, shorts, the blackout, big sellers. Mm, this tee. This is the hardcore old school stuff that whenever we first originally started, this is like my fucking tee. We got the red, white, and blue stripes into the bullets. Shh, 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 into the cow. Look at that. Yep. I fucked too. I made the post this morning. This whole photo shoot was like how I feel when I wake up on my piece of America. And then I'm like, actually, that's pretty much what I do on my property. Another sick tea. Uh, so this is one of my... Monday isn't a problem. So you guys hear me say this shit constantly. Monday isn't a problem. You don't have problems, just more work to do. Uh, I seen some stuff on reels and... TikToks about people getting anxious on Sunday and mental mental health and getting worried. Monday is not your problem. Monday isn't a problem. Monday is like, that's a day to set the fucking tone. I love Mondays. However, I do know what people are talking about whenever they're saying they have that anxious feeling on Sunday night. You are your own problem. You're, you're the problem. You're not stepping up and leveling up and taking a chance on yourself to get yourself out of that mentality at that shit job or at that fucking anxious, irritable place. You need to take control of your life. Monday is not the problem. You are. You, the way you start your day, exactly what you saw me do today. This is my fucking day, dude. I'm setting the fucking tone. Monday isn't the problem. Your mentality is. And you need to get yourself out of that mundane mentality and start fucking some shit up. This is one of those graphic tees that I absolutely fucking love. It literally, whenever I look at myself in the mirror, this is what I think. So we put it on the shirt so whenever you're wearing it and you look at yourself in the mirror or other people look at you, they're like, Monday isn't a problem. Because everyone knows exactly what the fuck that means. <clears throat> My old school mentality with uh, this new school trendy look. I love it. Another sick graphic tee. This one here, I don't know why I call it, Nick called it the city tee, but I love this white tee. Absolutely love it. Yeah, some training shots with Hani and I. He came in, beat the shit out of me. Twisting rear double bicep. Look at him, he loved it. Yeah, this is 
probably my favorite tank that we've ever done. I just love the, the font of the AAR, the look, the way the, the fitment of the stringer, it's sick. Another camo on black uh, regular tank top, great fit. You've probably heard me say before that I'm not a big stringer guy. I love these fucking stringers. It's not the type of stringer where you show your nips, where you're cutting them off and you're like, hey, look at my titties. This is, it covers the full on the front, but has a great cut on the back so that people can see how fucking awesome you look and fucking jammed. And then another tank, we have the white, the black on white bullet tank. But this release is Thursday night at 8 p.m. That's May 12th. I could not be more proud of our team. Whenever I come in with ideas and I come up with all this shit, they're the ones that bring it to life. And that is the release, everyone, this Thursday, May 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be ready. Set your alarms. Do all the cool shit. We're giving away free sticker sheet. I fucking love it. The, uh, the team absolutely slaughters it. They're able to bring to life my ideas and how you guys support us with everything. I can't thank you enough for everything that you do. But I showed you my morning routine. This is what I do every single morning. It's what I do for myself. Now, like I said earlier, motherfuckers have all these different ways of doing things. They come in, they, you know, they wake up in their, their bed with, you know, they don't have any kids. They're, they're not rushing around to accomplish things. Uh, they just have their routine and that's great. That's wonderful. You need to find the routine for you. You need to find your routine. This is my routine. This is how I do things. I do things this way so that it makes me feel good. It makes me operate on a new level so that every day I search to become better and better and better. You need to find what you need to do to make you feel empowered, to make you feel like you can just fucking accomplish absolutely anything today. That's one of the reasons that me making the shake for Adeline is such a big deal. Me seeing Emmy, SJ, talking to him, just, just being excited about my day. Because if I wake up and I'm in a shit mood every single fucking day, or I wake up and I'm in this, this, this down in the dumps mood and I'm around my children, well then that's the vibe they're gonna get. Mm -mm, I don't want that shit. I need to set myself up for success so that my children see me in the mood that I'm in and they feed off of my fucking energy. You need to find out what works for you. This takes time. I have fucked up a million times. I've tried a million different routines. This is mine. This is how I believe that I am in the position that I am in in life today is because of how I set the fucking tone every single morning. Do a good job, everyone. Set your alarms. Thursday night, 8 p.m. I love y'all. Do a good job. Find your routine and set the fucking tone. Slap that woman on the ass, baby. She's gonna like it. You know, set the tone for later, too. Dick, dick, dick.